I'm here in the polytunnel at Chalton and I'm just about to put up some succulents into some containers and I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to do. We've got a few pots that I've prepared earlier so I have a pot here with some potting grit in at the bottom to add extra drainage. Um, we don't want the bottom of the succulents to get very soggy and very damp so we need as much um, potting grit as possible in the bottom there and I've got some potting grit on the side here as well ready to put on the top when I've finished. I've got another container which I prepared before which has some fleece in, just a layer of fleece which stops the compost mix going through the gravel and washing out down the bottom through the bottom of the pot so that all keeps everything nicely in place. I've got my selection of succulents which have been kindly donated by one of the volunteers that volunteers here in the Chawton Gardens um, and I've made a selection of the few that I'm going to put in this pot. So I've also got in a uh, truck here a mix of 50-50 garden compost, just normal um, garden compost and grit. Again adding that extra drainage to stop any um, of the roots getting waterlogged. So what I'm quickly going to do is just fill this pot up, not quite to the top, um, but with a good level of compost. Just uh, making sure it's a fairly even layer. It's good to have it mixed up in advance. And just quickly make sure we've got a nice level to start working with. So I've got a nice level now of compost um, and grit mix ready for planting. And I've picked out a few already. Um, these obviously spread quite nicely. I have released some of the roots at the bottom. Um, just to make sure they can they'll move into the compost once it's planted and all the succulents were watered beforehand um, because once the pot's been planted ideally you want to leave it for a couple of days just for the roots to get used to their new home um, and then you're not in danger of waterlogging the plant as well so we're going to keep it simple just keeping it to three um, plants at the moment, some that are trailing and some which are just a nice shape plant. That's the first one. This one really nice, it's got lovely little red tinges on the plant. Again I've just teased the roots out previously just to make sure that there's They'll travel into the soil. And the final one, which is a little pink, pink one. With a few trailing plants as well, which we can just place a little bit closer to the edge. For a bit of effect. And get a little bit of extra compost just on that one. Just around the other side. And just press that down so it's a nice level layer. So that's basically the three plants in position. Now I'm just going to finish that off, put a little bit of gravel on, make it look nice again, make sure it doesn't get too waterlogged. Lots of different colour gravels that you can use, don't have to use silver, it's just what I had to hand. Are some nice gold sandy coloured gravels as well or if you really want to be adventurous you can use some coloured 
glass in a recycled glass, which is quite a good thing to do, obviously, these days. Spread those around a bit. There we go. And as I say, I'm not going to water this just yet. I'm going to leave it just for a day or so, just to give them a chance to get a bit of position in the pot. And that's finished pot.